Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shirley, if you're new. And today's video is going to be about comparing the small bracelet and the regular bracelet from the Cartier Love Collection. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And if you're into these luxuries, fashion, unboxings, and vlogs of my life, please hit that subscribe button for more. So let's get started on the video. Before I get started on comparing the two bracelets, I do just want to do a quick little unboxing. So, oh. I have it here. It does come in this white mysterious bag. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but when you do go to Cartier, you can ask for like a white bag. So what they do, what they do is they put the actual bag inside. So there it is. I'm just gonna pull it up. And there you have it. So it's just gonna be a very quick unboxing. If you guys want to see a more in-depth version of the things that come inside of when you do purchase it. I will leave my first Cartier video down below so you can check that out. So it does come with everything like a travel pouch, the certificate, the cleaning, the cleaning kit, but let's, we're just going to be focusing on this. So this is just the Cartier box and then once you open it, there is another box in there. So there we go. So this is the actual Cartier box. Um, don't break it. It's hard to replace. They don't usually replace this. So right here in the front, there's a button. And once you open it, this is the Cartier Love Bracelet in yellow gold in the right bear size. So once you open it, it has Cartier here. And then you have the bracelet and the screwdriver. So there's an unboxing. So let's get started with the comparison. So I'm going to be doing a first glance of these two bracelets. So I do have the other one here so first glance you can already see such a huge difference with these obviously the smaller one this one the bottom one is a lot fit, a lot thinner than this one the thickness of the bracelet are the same the only difference is the height of it the small one is half the size of the regular one so those are the first glance and if you are conflicted about what to get I hope this video does help you so I think the first main talking point is the locking mechanism of these two bracelets video I'm going to be talking about four main points of considering which one you want. So the first one is the locking mechanism. For sure the love bracelets they have the same concept in locking in the bracelets to lock in your love but the way they lock it in is completely different so that's one main key point that you should definitely consider. So all bracelets do come with a screwdriver it comes with the color that you bought the bracelet in. So I'm going to be talking about the small one first. So the small one looks like this. Just the simple one. There we go. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Do you see that little thing right here? This, this nail right here? So that is, that is where you would lock. To open it is one lock. And then just kind of like hold on it and tuck. So this is how the small bracelet looks like here. So this is how it is. Obviously, taking off the ticket, putting it on and off is very simple. And there we go. Lock, and that's the bracelet. So fairly simple to take on and off. It is a one-person job, although both of them are one-person job. Now, I do recommend to be really careful when you're um, twisting the braces because as you guys can see the screwdriver is metal and it could add scratches to your bracelet so now with this one as of right now it's currently closed but this is an overshot of the bracelet very simple so I'm just gonna be unlocking it so unlocking it make sure you're holding it like together because it is two pieces so again be very careful so you don't scratch the bracelet again Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. And as you can see, it comes in two pieces. The locking mechanism for this is much harder and you have to be a lot more careful. So it, it usually, it's recommended that you have two people to do this, but you can do this yourself. So I'm gonna do this myself to show you guys. And of course, I'll be doing a close up as well. Oops. And you would just align the nail to the the nail to the open part. And they're both screwed in, so 
that is the mechanism of this. I have both of them on, did them both myself. You can do it myself, yourself as always. The locking mechanism is a lot harder. Just to some, summarize some key points, the red neck bracelet, you have to twist a lot for both sides. Meanwhile, for the small bracelet, just one twist and you're done. Locks in, doesn't fall out. I do know that for this, because the screws are not actually tied to the bracelet, I have heard some people like saying like over time the screw kind of gets loose. So my friend actually has this and he mentioned that after a few months of wearing it, just make sure you're tightening the screw. Although I don't see it happen to a lot of people, but I do know in some instances it does get loose that some people actually lose their bracelets. But again, like don't let that, don't let don't let that fear get to you because it's very rare. But as always, to keep the bracelet, just keep tightening it here and there. Meanwhile, for this, you never have to tighten it. It's all good. And a little like side note here with the small bracelet is I can actually use my fingernails to open the bracelet. So in case of a scenario where you, you have some things and you're like, oh, I need to cut the bracelet, but I don't have the screw. In that instance, I actually was able to take it off with my fingernail and there, and put it on back with my fingernail as well. So that's also like a really key point. Of course, with the locking mechanism comes with how often you want to wear it. Now these pieces are actually meant to be worn 24-7, never take it off. I've actually worn these for like two years without ever taking it off. I would take it off like one day or two. Um, just to clean it and stuff, but regularly I don't ever take this off and it's recommended not to just because it's the concept of the bracelet and the fact that it is 18 karat gold. You can shower with it, you can just wear it whenever, but it is recommended to take them off when you're at the beach. Now the second factor to consider when deciding between these two bracelets is definitely the weight of the bracelet. So as you can see, I have both of the bracelets on my hand is already used to the bracelet, so even putting on this one, I do feel a little bit heavier, but not by much. So I'm kind of just, so it, it, it took me, it would take you about a week to get used to wearing these bracelets. The most obvious reason is the regular one has more gold to it, so it is a lot heavier as you guys can see the bracelets. Like, I'm like weighing them. So to me, they feel like nothing. Although my left arm does feel a little bit more heavier because of the more gold. But again, when you first wear the bracelet, it's going to take you about a week to get used to it. It feels like part of my arm now. But actually, when I take this off, it just feels like something's missing. So, like, I'm just weighing it. I don't think the weight of the bracelet should be a fact to consider, but it is there in case that's what you want. If they're both heavy, you'll get used to it no matter what. The third factor to consider is definitely the originality of the bracelet. The red one is a lot more classic than the small one because the whole collection start off with the original one of how it was supposed to be two of them locking together. So the story of the red bracelet is it's a love bracelet. It's supposed to be a couple locking in their love. So which is why it's two pieces, so like two people who love each other and they kind of lock in their love, which is why you never take it off and everything because it's supposed to lock in forever. And that was the concept. So both bracelets are the same design. As you guys can see, both of them are actually the love symbol. So they're both have the same design. The only difference is one of them is taller than the other. Even though this one is more classic, this is like a, a new and re refined version of the bracelet. So of course, it's up to you. Last key point that you have to consider is the price of the bracelet. Um, for obvious reasons, they are two different prices. So the small bracelet retails for 4450 USD without tax, and the regular bracelet retails for $6,900 USD. For more for obvious reasons it uses more materials because it is slightly taller than the small one so that is something you have to consider but a key point in considering the prices is that if you are saving up for a Cartier bracelet that you really want and you're planning to wear for years to come and, and it, I wouldn't recommend settling on something so although they're the same thing 
and everything. They give you a different feel and everything. The locking mechanism is different. But you have to consider that if you want something and you've already been saving up for it, I would recommend saving up a little bit more just to get the piece that you want. Because if you're already spending almost $5,000 on this, you could save a little bit more to get this one if that's what you want. Now, of course, it is really up to like your preference. Me, personally, like I love this bracelet. It was what I want. I have a very petite wrist, so when I chose the bracelet, this is exactly what I wanted. And again, this video is just letting you guys know all the pros and cons of both of the bracelets. They are both excellent bracelets. I love my pieces. I love my cartier pieces to death. So those are the four key factors you have to consider. There's a locking mechanism, the price, the weight of the bracelets, and the originality of it. So of course, at the end of the day, whichever one you choose, I know that you'll love it because it's if it's something you want, you'll love it regardless. I hope this video was helpful and informational to decide which bracelet you want. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try my best to answer them. And as always, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys. I'm so sorry, guys.